still as of public funds and any proceeds that accrue from illegal transactions, also known as illegal money, will by law be subject to investigation and even prosecution. This follows the assenting by the president to the anti-money laundering law. These are some of the actions that would make you culpable under the anti-money laundering law. Uh, first, uh, the act of uh, obtaining uh, wealth or money illegitimately. Um, the second uh, principle that uh, consists of uh, uh, breaking this law is uh, an attempt to, to disguise the source of, of uh, the wealth or the property uh, and also any individual, uh, let it be bank officials or even a lay person who knows that someone has obtained money or property or wealth illegitimately uh, but uh, does not report to the financial intelligence authority, that also constitutes a crime. So it is now a crime if caught hiding illegitimate money or failing to report if you're not a stealer. This means that banks now are mandated to raise queries on questionable monies on customer accounts. The law gives two types of uh, reporting responsibilities. The first one is that uh, banks are supposed to report uh, transactions below a certain threshold. And uh, the Financial Intelligence Authority then uses those reports to examine and analyze and see if they can find any patterns that are worth uh, investigating and following up. Uh, but in addition, the law also mandates uh, uh, banks and other institutions to report uh, transactions which they think are suspicious that may be uh, cases of money laundering. Lawyers, accountants, auditors and other such institutions must report suspicious monies that they encounter while handling their clients. Penalties range from five years imprisonment to fines of 60 million to 2 billion shillings for non-disclosure. However, nothing will become of this law if the government does not constitute the Financial Investigation Authority, which is supposed to implement the law. Samo Setumba, NTV, Business.